Welcome back, everyone. This is Ben from the Gaming Master with some more Mario Kart Wii. All right, so in the last episode, we actually went through and we played the Flower Cup with Yoshi and the Dolphin Dasher. And today, I think we're going to use another bike. I think I'm actually going to show off one of the most popular combos in this game. I'm already using Daisy, so you guys probably know what I'm picking if you guys have played this game before. Daisy on the mock bike. So yeah, there's pretty much only two types of people that play this game. Either you use Funky Con and Flame Runner or Daisy mock bike. And I think for the next two episodes, we'll showcase them, because why not? So I thought it'd be kind of cool to use, like, Funky Con for Rainbow Road. I don't know. And then we gotta use Daisy for Daisy Circuit, am I right? I mean, how do we not? Uh, this is another amazing cup. We got Daisy Circuit, Koopa Cape, Maple Tree, and Grumble Volcano. Some more fan favorites. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into it, shall we? Like I said, the new courses in this game are phenomenal. Probably the best new courses in any Mario Kart game. Like, some of the best Mario Kart courses of all time are in this game. So here we got Daisy Circuit. This course is just so pretty. I don't even know how to describe it. Just the sunset. The 8 Deluxe version is pretty cool looking too, but... I don't know, something about this version. I just really like the sunset in this one, but... I figured we gotta use Daisy for Daisy Circuit, am I right? We've just been weird not to. Yeah, we're also testing out the mock bike today. This is definitely another popular combo. Flame Runner and Mach Bike are probably the best bikes in the game. Spear might be the fastest, but I think in terms of overall stats, it's Flame Runner and Mach Bike. Correct me if I'm wrong. Although Spear does have the fastest um, speed, so that's cool. I think I've used the Spear for a few time trials back in the day. But yeah, we got a pretty good sizable lead right now. I'm kind of used to the bikes now after using it on the previous episode. I'm sure we'll go back to carts later on throughout the series, but... I thought we'd showcase some bikes. I'll probably use bikes more since they're better in this game. And you know, that's what this game's known for, but I could probably show off like the Wild Wing for the carts. I could use like the booster seat. I don't know why, when I was little, I thought the booster seat was hilarious. Like if you pair Toad or one of the baby characters with the booster seat. It's a terrible trash cart, but... <laughs> I don't know, I always thought it was funny. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. This level is pretty cool, it's pretty basic, it's just a circuit track, but... In terms of circuit tracks, this is probably one of the better ones. You can take the shortcut through there. You have a mushroom. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they added a glider portion there, which is cool. You can go around these two fountains that have, like, Luigi and Daisy statues. And see some me characters all around the place. That's pretty cool. I do love that about this game. Is like there's just me characters, random courses. Obviously, the most famous famous example of this would be in Coconut Mall, but it can also be found in other courses too, which is pretty neat. And come up here on the sidewalk, and cool. There we go. Daisy Circuit. Wow, we crushed it on that one. We're doing 100 CC again. I think that's what we'll probably be using throughout the series. It's a pretty nice blend, I'd say. Not too slow, not too fast. So next up, we got Koopa Cape. This is probably one of my favorite courses. Mario Kart Wii by far has the best version of this course. I don't know what the people who were making this course for 8 Deluxe were smoking, but they like massacred the tube section. But yeah. Coconut Mall and Koopa Cape, their peak versions are by far on the Wii. Mario's Gold Mine is pretty good on both 8 Deluxe and Wii. DK Summit's pretty good on both 8 Deluxe and Wii, but like. Coconut Mall and especially Koopa Cape really had their prime on the Wii, I'd say. Let me know what your favorite versions of these classic tracks are. I mean, at the end of the day, they're still the same course, but there are a lot of differences. And some most definitely for the worse, but... Alright, so just zooming through here. Like a boss, there we go. The tube section's cool, because, like, the music's different. Oh no, it just has such a cool atmosphere down here. You can see the fish. <clears throat> you gotta watch out for these spinny things. For whatever reason, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe removed that. 
I think they added like a half pipe, which is kind of cool, but I don't know why they removed that part because like it got rid of the entire challenge. So, I don't know. And then didn't Mario Kart 7 replace it with like fish or something? Correct me if I'm wrong on that, I don't even know. But most people agree that the best version of this track is hands down in Mario Kart Wii. Oh god, I went into the grass. No. Big yikes, dude. Oh, we red shelled him though. Here, I'll showcase what happens here. You can come down here and grab an item. That's pretty cool. Here, we'll go this way this time just to show off the different routes. I think how I did it the first time is probably the fastest, but. Might as well showcase some stuff here. Alright, watch out for that because you lose all your items and shrink if you touch that. Uh, if you do go through the water, you do go faster, but feel free to take the sides because you really do not want to be hit by one of those things. And then boom, zooming out through there. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> okay. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> what was that, dude? That was garbage. Here, at least I got the mushroom there. We can clutch up here. I have faith. Oh, dude, I cannot dodge the pal. <laughs> oh my god. Worst place to get pal there, dude. Seriously. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to get... Oh my god! Oh my god! Give me a break, game. Listen, I know I was dominating a little too much, but give me a break. Come on. Oh, a bullet bill. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Hey, comeback's possible. Oh, what is happening up here? We'll get... I like how even they have, like, the Mario Brothers pipe sound when you come down here. I don't know, just the little details of this version is awesome, I think. Alright, we snuck back and first. There's no way another blue shell is going to come since... Well, we literally just got fired. Alright, stay out of the water, apparently. I forgot about that. Oh, gosh. No, I swear if I get past here... Oh! 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 <laughs> Holy crap, that was close, dude. My goodness, Luigi, like, pushed me across the finish line, bro. Yeah, stay out of the water. I forgot about that. Maybe you can use the water, like, if you have mushrooms or something, but you saw what happens if you try to get shroomless. Man, that was crazy. Next up, we got Maple Treeway, another fan favorite. One of my favorites, for sure, as well. We got, like, a nice autumn-fall theme. Honestly, Flower Cup and this cup, the Star Cup, I believe it's called, probably be my two favorite cups in the game. Just, they have so many good courses. Let's, let's freaking do this. Come on. We still got fish in every track so far, which is awesome. I just love the music in this one, and the overall atmosphere. So make sure you check leaf piles when you play, because sometimes, like, a mushroom will come out of it. Or maybe even sometimes a star? Whoa, be careful around along the tree trunk there. And there's wigglers, that's right. What giant wigglers. Everyone check all the leaf piles. Oh here, we can pass this fool. There we go. Okay, so I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart Deluxe lately. That's definitely the game I've played most recently. And for whatever reason, I, I just feel like that game feels safer on this track. Like, with the tree trunks in this game, it just feels scary. Like, it feels like you could easily fall off. Alright, you can do tricks on this bridge here. That is one change that they actually made in 7 and 8. They made that a glider portion, which, I mean, I guess it makes sense to have, like, a glider portion on the track. But at the same time, it's kind of fun to do, like, a ton of tricks on that bridge, so... Really up to personal preference on what you like there. Oh, there's the mushroom. See, that's why we check leaf piles. Because mushrooms and stars can pop out of it. Okay. You can take that a little bit tighter, but you gotta be very careful. Or you'll bump into that. Or even worse, fall off. But luckily, I managed to stay on the track. Which is heckin' awesome, of course. 
Okay. I forgot we can actually do wheelies. That's literally the whole point of the bikes. This track's kind of all over the place, so you're not really safe on this track. I guess this is a good space to kind of use some wheelies. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Alright, spam, spam. Oh, come on. Okay. Then, of course, we can trick off the two tree branches there. Oh, come on, dude, really? Well, there's a shock, so everyone slow down there. So, using our standstill mini turbo there. So, yeah, that's what's so weird about, like, the standstill mini turbos is that it, like, makes acceleration completely useless. Because, literally, you can get back up to, like, max speed in, like, two seconds. I'm pretty sure that's, like, a unique feature to this game. I get why Nintendo removed it, because, like, it literally makes acceleration completely and utterly useless. Oh, my God. See, that is why you check leaf files on Maple Freakin' Treeway. Because I just got a superstar in first place. Believe it or not, that should never happen in a million jillion years. Oh, but then bananas also pop out, so be careful. But it's not always a good item that pops out. But yeah, I literally got a superstar in first place. So, check your leaf piles, kids. Oh, but, whoa, okay. There we go, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Daisy is very excited. Wow, we crushed that course. Bam, there we go, baby. Maple tree way. The next step, oh boy, we got Grumble Volcano. <laughs> this level. This level is scary. This level is kind of hard. Like, a lot of people really like this level. I've never been, like, a huge fan of it. Like, I get that the layout's kind of cool and stuff, but... I remember, especially when I was younger, I absolutely hated this level. Because it's so easy to fall in the lava. It does have a pretty cool theme, though. <laughs> Very fitting for Mario Kart, I'll tell you that. <laughs> this level definitely captures what it feels like sometimes to play Mario Kart. There's just fire and lava everywhere. There's a huge volcano over there. Hence the name Grapple Volcano. I know there's like a huge shortcut you can do in this level. It might actually be like a glitch shortcut mostly. Kind of in the middle here. Oh, there actually is a crazy glitch you can do. I remember I've done that for time trials before. The time trial is hilarious. Hold up, if I can do that. If you guys see that mountain back there with the question mark block. Here, I'll come up here. Right there. If you guys see the mountain back there with the question mark block. You can actually glitch on top of that rock, and then you can, like, go around it and do circles. And then, for whatever reason, the game registers it as a lap every time you complete a circle on the rock. My words aren't doing it justice, but maybe, like, if... Like, just go on YouTube and look it up. Like, it is insane. It's probably the most broken shortcut in Mario Kart history. And there's more broken glitches you can do in this game for time trials, like on... Mario's Gold Mine on Maple... Or, not Maple Treeway. What's it called? Mushroom Gorge. If I could pull those off, maybe I could make videos on them or something. Because some of these shortcuts have to be seen. Because they're, like, just too insane. Oh, God. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, dude. Now, you will notice that through throughout each lap, the, uh, the floor actually kind of goes under. Whoa! Okay, yeah. Like, the floor is literally disintegrating. Now, I am going to charge up a boost there so I don't fall through the crack there. Because that would have just been bad. We're in third place currently. I'd like to get a little farther ahead here. Uh, I don't really know where to use the mushroom. I don't know if there's like a... Really a shortcut necessarily. I just want to just use it there to pass Birdo. I'm not letting Birdo beat me. Absolutely not. Oh, gosh. Okay. Get me out of here. Okay. Here, give me an item block. Luckily, Baby Luigi up here did not get an item, but- Oh, but then I fall. <laughs> oh, terrible ending. Oh, Luigi fell too. What? What? And we're, like, still up here. How is that even possible? Alright, we kind of cut through there. 
Did I dodge the pow that time? No, I did not. Bro, I do not know how to dodge pows, apparently. You have to time it just right, but the timing on that is super tight. And there we go. Grumble Volcano done. So yeah, like before it kind of sinks throughout each lap. Because originally there was like cliffs everywhere. Now there's nothing. Uh, so yeah, kind of a cool gimmick. Really not a bad level. Just some people are like, this is the best level in Mario Kart. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> oh no, there's still some cool moments. I get why people like it. Especially with enough practice, it's probably a much better level. So here we go. We got Mario Circuit. We got the Toads and the Shy Guys celebrating us. Shouts to Waluigi and Baby Mario, and of course, yours truly. Waluigi's got like a piranha cart. Maybe Mario's got like the magic cruiser, what's it called? The Kamek bike, we'll call it that. Yeah, Daisy. You'll even notice that like the princesses have like a r r racer outfit. That's kind of cool. We got the first place star. First place star cup, there we go. We got another one star ranking. Apparently that's the theme for us. I think we've had like a one star ranking every time. But there we go with another perfect 60. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, that is the Star Cup. So if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to drop a like because we are going to end off the episode here. So do me a favor, drop a like, share the video with a friend, let me know in the comments what kind of cards and characters you want to see in future episodes, and subscribe for more Mario Kart Wii. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good rest of your day.